In this lecture, we will study what are S2 1 parameters, S parameters, and what is S2 1 plot, how we will find transmission zeros, and what are insertion losses, and how we find insertion losses and return losses. First of all, go to HFSS results here. S21 S parameter S21 MDB create new remote close this is S21 plot S21 plot what are transmission zeros is a frequency at which the transfer function of the linear two-port network is zero transmission. Transmission zeros on all types of filters. You can see that in S parameter plot, S21 plot shows frequency peaks of S21 plots shows the transmission zeros. The importance of transmission zeros just it helps in separation of different frequency band from each other. Transmission zeros are always created at the start of the band and at the end of the band. This is the first band, this is the second band, and third bands are not perfectly matched. This is first transmission zero. This is second transmission zero, this is third transmission zero, this is fourth transmission zero, this is fifth transmission zero. There must be needed a six transmission zeros. These two transmission zeros create one passband. These two transmission zeros create second passband. And this is one and one is another needed. Basically, here you can see that. It's when one plot in S11 plot third band is not perfectly matched. So that's why we have five transmission zeros. But but for perfectly matching we always needed as much band for time mode we needed six transmission zeros. For quad mode we need eight transmission zeros. Let me check transmission zeros with a research paper. Mark them. First transmission zero, second transmission zero, third transmission zero, fourth transmission zero, fifth transmission zero. Here you can see that M1 shows that. The next axis first transmission zero at one point three three gigahertz, and second transmission zero at one point five nine gigahertz, third transmission zero at two point eight gigahertz, and fourth transmission zero at three point two nine, and fifth transmission zero at four point two two. Here we have five transmission zero, but in trans in research paper six transmission zeros are six. This shows they perfectly matching, but here some other research paper they are also prime mode band password. But here you can see that four transmission zero, five transmission zero, but here six transmission zero. Six transmission show zero shows they perfectly match, but our design is not perfectly match. I think there is a slight difference between. Slight different in the stub length. By changing the stub length or stub width with very small changes, we can adjust it to a perfectly match tri band band pass filter. Now look at the insertion loss. What are insertion losses? You can see the definition of insertion losses. 
the loss of power in the result of insertion of load in transmission line. That is insertion losses because S21 parameter shows transmission coefficient. During the transmission, there is some. We always know that as much power is given to input, not that much power is come out from output. There is some losses. So S21 graph shows that insertion losses. That is in, in the result of insertion of load because we are in S21 graph we are discussing two different ports. Input and output ports are different. And you also keep it in mind. The upper portion of S21 plot shows the insertion losses. As much it, it touches the 0 dB are very near to 0 dB then we will say it has very less insertion losses and less insertion losses are good as much less insertion losses it means the band is much better let look at the graph here I am going to mark insertion loss. Here you can see that M1. M1 insertion loss is 0 0.94. And in M2, is that much the y axis? Sorry, at, at y axis, show the insertion losses in dB. The y axis you can see that is 0 0.29. Here you can see that at 0 0.9. The first band and second band are almost touches up to its zero, but then is slightly lower from zero. It means that third band has much insertion losses as compared to band one and band two. These are insertion losses are created due to imperfect matching because you already know that third band or third band is not perfectly matched because of one transmission zero is also missing. In research paper you can see that insertion losses in dB. For first band insertion loss is 0 0.41, for the second 1.39, and third one 1.94. Here the situation is different. In this way we can find insertion losses, transmission zeros by using S21 plot and we can minimize insertion losses and we can create transmission zeros for perfectly matching by changing the stub length or width. In next tutorial we will discuss what are the return losses and other parameters. Similarly we will in coming tutorials we will also make some we will make some changes in design in length and width of stops so that our third band become perfectly matched. We will try for this. Stay tuned.